हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑन अ थ्री मूवमेंट थ्योरम द क्वेश्चन आर सीन एग्जाम लाइक दिस द एनालाइज द बीम बाय यूजिंग द थ्री मूवमेंट थ्योरम हेयर इज अ क्वेश्चन गिवन सो लेट्स वी सॉल्व वाइल सॉल्विंग द थ्री मूवमेंट थ्योरम देर आर द फास्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द फ्री बेंडिंग मूवमेंट हेयर There are a three span A B B C and C D. The calculation of free bending moment is separately. For span A B, the bending moment at E. Here is a point load. That's why P A B by L, where the A is a distance from point load from A and B is a distance from B. So while putting value eighty into two into four upon six, we get one zero six point six seven kilonewton. The same procedure applied. For a span BC, the bending moment at F equals to W L square by eight. By putting value, we get the sixty-two point five kilonewton meter. Same for span CB, the bending moment at G. Here is a point load. That's why P A B by L. By putting all the value of this, we get the seventy-two kilonewton meter. The second step was the free bending moment diagram. The what the bending moment we calculated here, that's only put in a diagram. Here, here is a point load between A and B. That's why the bending moment di diagram is like triangle. Here is a UDL from B to C. That's why parabola, and from C to D, point load. That's why triangle. The main procedure in solving the free bending moment diagram, that is step number two. Here we have to calculate the area of this bending moment diagram. We all know the area of triangle that is half into base into height. By putting all the value, we get the three twenty point zero one area of this triangle. Area of this triangle is two. Area of this parabola is two zero eight point three three, and area of this triangle is one eighty. Here XL and XR. Here XL is the distance of centroid of triangle from a left hand, and XR is the distance of centroid of triangle from a right hand. XL are calculated by using simply formula that is 2A plus B by L. By putting all the value, we get the XL that is the distance of centroid of this triangle from point A. Here this is the semicircle. That's why the center lies. At the middle, that's why XL is two point five. Here the same the triangle, that is center of tang triangle is calculated by using two A plus B by L. By putting all the value, we get the center of triangle from left end that is two point three three meter, and from right that is two point six seven. After that, the third step was to calculate a three bending moment. The main aim was apply application of three bending moment theorem. Here we are taking the span A B C. We know that we know that that the at the point A support A is a roller. That's why there is a no bending moment. That's we taken a bending moment at A is zero. Plus two A B plus L one plus L two plus Bending moment at C plus L two six A X one by L one again six A two X two by L two. Here the value taken is the calculated from this 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 triangle. The value taken here L one L one is this from length between A to B. And L two is a length between B to C. By putting all the all the value of six a one x one by l one six a two x two by l two, while solving we get the twenty two mb plus mc equals to minus one four seven nine point four two. Put it as equation number one. Now moving to the span B C D. Here we know the bending uh, bending moment at B. Plus L into L one plus twice MC L one plus L two 
movement at D. We know the D is a roller that has no any movement, so we take it as B zero plus six a one x one by l one plus six a two x two by l two. Here we take a span B C D. That's why concentrated here from B C D. This is a one and this is a two. Okay, by solving all, we get the five M B. Plus twenty mc equals to minus one two zero one point seven one. Put it as equation number two. By by solving equation number one and equation number two, we get the bending moment at A equals to minus fifty six point eight two kilo newton meter, and the bending moment at C forty five point eight eight kilo newton meter. After that, the fourth step. Fourth step was. Calculation of support reaction at each support. This is the simple method I explain here for calculating the support reaction. Here, for calculating the support reaction at A, we have to take a bending moment at B. By taking a bending moment at B, and by putting all the value, we directly get the support reaction at A. The same procedure applied for the all three remaining three supports. That is, the for a reaction, uh, for a reaction at support B, R B, the bending moment at C equals to this, this, this. By putting all the value, we get the bending moment. Sorry, the support reaction at B. That is eighty eight point three three kilo newton. The support reaction at B is calculated um, by doing the bending moment at C. By putting all the value, we get the reaction at D, that is fourteen point eight four kilonewton. And the similar procedure is used for the remaining supports. The fifth and final step was the drawing a bending moment diagram. That is, this is the question that was given in our question. This is a free bending moment diagram, and this is the superposition of two. This is free bending moment diagram we drawn here. And this is a diagram. What we calculated by solving a three moment theorem, or by applying the three moment theorem, we got the value of moment at C by solving three moment theorem, and same uh, the value of bending moment at C. Okay, this is a shear force diagram. This is calculated or drawn by using the support reaction we calculated. Thank you, friends.